first up, I want to cover the game devs that are now adding in-game warnings for gamers that are running Intel 13th and 14th generation CPUs. Now, I initially felt like this was one of the problems similar to the Nvidia 40 series adapters, where there was like one out of whatever i don't know the exact number so i'm just going to toss a number out there so like one out of every 1000 graphics cards have an issue with the connectors i'm not saying that that is okay of course that is an issue but i initially thought that this was kind of what was happening with intel where there was one or two people that were having issues with the cpus and then because somebody like let's say gamers nexus or linus tech tips or jay's two cents or whatever big massive tech influencer that you watch ends up covering it and because of that hundreds of thousands of people see that and it gets blown out of proportion because of what ended up being stated on the internet. But that is not what is happening with Intel's CPUs here. This is a massive, like a massive problem. And I got to be honest, dude, like we're at a level where I have not had a single issue with my computer for a full year of owning this thing. Okay. But I'm at a point where this is being talked about so much online that it is actually frightening me and i'm literally going to be building a second entire computer when the uh with the, with the new series of intel or with the new series of amd cpus that end up coming out and uh i do quickly want to just show you guys this is going to be a different video but i thought it was hilarious a cyber truck but uh we're going to get off topic if i get too far into that but when the new cpus from amd come out i'm literally going to be building an entirely new computer just as a backup computer because because of what is happening with intel cpus dude and it just like the fact that that is such a problem that it's like people like myself that are using their computers to make a living and they literally need their computer for work if something happens to my cpu that is an entire week that i am going to be cpu less <laughs> Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below. So this right here, obviously there's not much else I need to say as far as the game devs actually providing warnings. So this right here, problematic CPU detected. The game has crashed. We have detected that you have the following CPU, the 13th generation Intel Core 13700K. This CPU has problems with modern Unreal Engine 5 games, which can result in crashes. Do you want to open a link with information on how to potentially fix these crashes? So as you can see, the warning window further states the CPU has problems with Unreal Engine 5 specifically. Path of Titans is built using the latest Unreal Engine 5.3, and it's not the first time that we've heard about applications crashing running these CPUs. The Unreal Engine's supervisor at Model Farm also ended up reporting a 50% failure rate on a 13900K and 14900K based systems and that is why i am concerned myself because i have a 14900k in my computer and unfortunately this is not just going to be a uh a, a quick fix that windows can resolve by updating something on the computer because dude i've been using this computer every single day for over a year now i have currently i have four channels one of them i have not launched yet it's a dan does talks channel that to be honest i'm literally just going to record things that i think of in my life and want to share with other people i have my gaming channel i have my pc channel i have my car channel which unfortunately i have not uploaded a single video on my car channel but i also had an ai channel and i also had an animation channel both of which i sold and the reason that i sold those is because of ai and ai is there's no denying dude animation ai is going to dominate that space you can call me a prick for selling an animation channel but dude that's how businesses work that's not my problem the person who bought that channel just didn't think into the future of 
what AI is going to be doing to animation. But then I also thought about the faceless AI channel. Okay, easy, it's easy. Animation channel is going to become easy. AI channel going to become easy. And what happens when things are easy? Guess what? It is just the same thing as TikTok. Everybody is going to do it because it is easy. Why do you think everybody is hopping into shorts? I want you to genuinely think about this. How many people do you know started a YouTube channel, gave up, and then suddenly came back to make shorts? I'm just saying, dude. So anyways, that is why I sold those channels. And the reason that I'm concerned about my computer, which right now I'm actually mind blown that I was capable of remembering what I actually wanted to say. That actually blows me away that I was actually able to do that. For that long of a period of time, your boy's brain is actually becoming fixed. So the reason I was explaining all that is because, dude, I've been using this computer every single day for over a year, rendering out two to three videos in 4K resolution that are all basically about 10 minutes long. Obviously, that's an estimation. I'm not, I don't like have a recording time frame where like I'm like, oh, I need to make this video at least eight minutes so that I can enable a bajillion ads throughout my video. I don't do that, dude. I just talk and whenever I'm done talking, which unfortunately is like literally a bajillion hours long, that is how long my video is. I don't have an exact time frame, but the, like an estimate is around 10 minutes because it's pretty hard for me to... Like I like to talk about something and then I'll like get off topic and I'll be like, oh shit, I just barely rambled on for like seven minutes. So I need to get back. So that is why I'm concerned about this. So let's go ahead and get back to this article because I did get a little bit off topic. However, it was related to what we were going over here. And it is, I'm very concerned about me rendering out these 4K videos. Obviously I have a 4090 and yes, I'm fully aware that video editors, editors, I don't know why I said it that way. I'm fully aware that editors now do pretty heavily rely on the graphics card much more than they do the CPU, but that doesn't negate the fact that we have a big problem here with Intel's CPUs. Literally, the the 50% failure rate, like that's that's insane, dude. For that, for I want you to just think about. I just want. I'm just gonna toss this out here. I want you to think about this. Imagine, let's say, I'm trying to think of a example of this. I don't know how many of you are gym bros or whatever, but uh, let's say a protein powder or let's actually let's because not everybody has. Let's say Purdue chicken breast. <laughs> let's say or hold up Tyson chicken nuggets. There we go. I know you guys eat chicken nuggets. Your boy, you know, you eat chicken nuggets. You, whatever. Let's go. All right. Let, yeah, let's stick with the chicken nuggets so that I don't have to like perfect this stuff. So let's say uh tyson or whatever chicken nugget brand you get all of a sudden has a chicken nugget that's infected with e coli or some bacteria and 50 percent of the bags of chicken nuggets in the stores have this bacteria and they don't recall it we're talking about a five dollar bag of chicken nuggets here or a little more now in 2024 back in my day chicken nuggets were only five bucks boys now they're like 15 sorry but back in my day chicken nuggets were pretty affordable so anyways think about that that's what's happening with intel dude 50 percent that is absurd man and yet dude i've never played sides i just want what is best i want what performs the best i want what has the features that benefit me most if that's amd then whatever i will swap to amd if that's intel I will use Intel. If Nvidia ever releases a CPU, which you know is going to happen pretty soon here, then I will use in Nvidia's, dude. I don't care who it is. It is just whatever benefits me the most and works for me and what I do. That is all I care about. I don't care if it's team red, blue, or green. Doesn't matter to me, don't care. Which is why I'm going to be building an entirely different computer with AMD. And the reason that I brought this up, dude, I actually, my brain is actually working pretty good right now. So the reason I'm explaining that, dude, is because, yes, I'm fully aware that AMD delayed their CPUs, but dude, I don't see that as a problem. I've never seen these delays as an issue. It's like a game as an example, like we have everybody's so excited for this game. Oh, it gets delayed and everybody's like so upset. Oh, it was supposed to come out now. Oh, 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 oh. and I'm not talking about the games that stay in early access for 10,000 days. That's a different story. But I'm talking, dude, and then like 
or if a new game comes out and it's not delayed, but it releases broken, everybody complains about how broken the game is. Okay, so, so let me get this straight. You don't want the game to be delayed because of issues and you, and you don't want them to fix the issues, but you want them to release the game broken so that you complain that the game is broken. Does anybody else hear these crickets in the room? So I'm just saying, dude, the, like, it's like if AMD would have released their CPUs, it would have been in the same exact issue as Intel right now, where everybody is complaining about the CPU being broken. But because they, 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 they like chose to like not release the CPUs because they're broken, everybody is complaining that they didn't release the CPUs. It's like, dude, what do you want them to do? <laughs> so, so dude i just can't believe this is very baffling to me that intel is not offering refunds like the failure rate 50 percent failure rate dude like think about the chicken nugget example how many times like this is and the sad part about this is that intel is so big that it's not going to impact them because the only other the only other competitor that intel has is amd and this is why i'm always saying dude competition benefits everybody whether that's xbox nintendo sega uh, whatever the ColecoVision or playstation or nintendo or neo geo and whatever i'm trying to think of all the other consoles brands you get my jaguar atari <laughs> so like dude like if we had all those consoles now if we had all those con sega neo geo all these other consoles if we had all those sony wouldn't suck if we had all those nintendo wouldn't suck to be fair uh, at least from what i see i'm not saying dude game yes i'm fully where they increased the price of game pass but dude that was like the best like bang for your buck thing for gamers for years so like dude paying up like 10 bucks even with the increase it is still worth it okay so you know what i mean it's like you pick your poison do you want to pay 20 bucks for netflix or do you want to pay 20 bucks for game pass or however much it is now you know what i mean it's like you get a choice so i don't know dude let me know what you guys think of it. I just, dude, people need to talk about that. I wasn't going to cover this stuff. I really don't like covering drama. I don't like doing that. It's like, I could name drop everybody. I could name drop Mr. Beast and how he blows up every time. I could name drop Linus and follow the trends of everybody hating on Linus. Even though I love him, I just want to like pretend that I don't like him so that I can get views. I want to attack this person and I want to attack that person and I want to cover this guy that made a mistake and just ruin his life so that I can benefit off of him and just gaining views think I'm being as even though that was a joke dude I'm actually being serious think about all of the channels that that are actually successful and how they became successful I'm just saying and I'm not being disrespectful to the person that I'm about to say because I literally watch him but think about Penguinzo think about Ludwig think about these channels dude. how do you dude look at their most popular videos I'm being serious like look at their most popular videos it is them covering drama and them covering topics on other people and it's like you know what another thing this is going to piss a lot of people that are actually watching this video off are you ready for this you know those people that leave comments about oh this video is clickbait you know that you know what you, you know you are the person that left that comment is the friggin problem not the person that is clickbaiting you because if it wasn't for the person that left that comment about clickbaiting if it wasn't for you clicking the clickbait and you would just click a normal video that isn't clickbait we wouldn't have to clickbait but because you click nothing other than clickbait we have to clickbait so why are you complaining about us doing what you made us do <laughs> It just doesn't make any sense. Oh, I'm going to complain about this, even though I'm the reason that it's happening. <laughs> so anyways, dude, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Really a lot of create the reason I dude, I can't believe that I've actually that that's the third time in one video. My brain is actually becoming very well trained. It's probably the creatine because I've heard some really good things about. I started taking creatine because your boy's trying to I'm not. I'll show you guys. Trying to put on some gains. Um, <laughs> so I started taking creatine and I do know that has some like neurological, uh, benefits. So, um, anyways, the reason I, 
again number four i actually managed to remember where i was heading before i even started i do think it's the creatine so the reason i'm saying this is because more creators need to be talking about this if you have a channel with 100 subscribers please make a video on this if you have a channel with two subscribers please make a video on this because the more people that start talking about this the more that intel is going to like kind of have to like do right by it because the more noise quote unquote that gets stirred up that is what is going to um like cause intel to have to help the people with intel cpus like companies are already pulling out like the intel cpus games are already warning people with these cpus so the more like social media is a powerhouse man if you have a social media platform and you make a video on something like this and it suddenly blows up gamers nexus is doing it like i loved his series on the asus thing so like unfortunately or not unfortunately because whatever it is he's worked hard to get to where he is but like he's kind of one of the only people that are actually going to be able to get in contact with intel to actually be able to go interview them unless for some reason people actually millions of people see this video and share it around i would do that myself i would love to get in contact with intel because this is going to benefit me and it would cause people to start trusting me because i go and interview intel to figure out why they're like bending people over and screwing them one of the people being myself you know so for me to have to build an entirely different computer as a bat i'm obviously not going to buy another graphics unless the 50 series comes out but until the 50 series comes out i'm not going to be buying another graphics card that would just be stupid if this computer breaks whatever i'm just going to swap the 4090 into that computer and um and then on top of that it's not like it's really that big of a waste of money for me because i do have a pc building business so if somebody wants the whatever new uh whatever the 9950x 3d or whatever if they release the three day three blah, 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 three <laughs> sorry I want to say it, but then I'll I'll get a bunch of political people that uh, think I'm trying to make an offensive statement. So I'm not going to say it this time. Uh, but I got certain person mouth. Uh, but anyways, I can sell the computer if, like, if I list it online and whatever. You know what I mean? So it's not like I'm like losing a ton of money or anything like that. But just the fact that I have to build another computer that's... To be fair, it's probably going to cost me around... Without the graphics card, about two grand because you know I have four, I'm gonna need another four terabytes with the storage, the 64 gigabytes of RAM, the CPU, the cooler, the fan, whatever. You get my point, dude. It's just it's stupid that I have to do that, and the hand gestures are outrageous. And uh, I got pre-workout tweaking through my veins, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit up the gym before that ends. I will catch you guys in the next video, man. Let me know what you guys think about this. I genuinely think this is messed up. And the more noise that we stir up about this, it's kind of like they're not gonna have a choice but to whatever you feel me